So I mentioned to the uh, colonel there that this, this German cell was broken up this week. And I read the story. What? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, the, you have to admit that there are people who do want to kill Americans. Yeah, some of them are call, uh, called the police. Yeah, okay. Uh, but, but that's it. I mean, like, I don't, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, that's sorry. apples and oranges. You know, you know what? Uh, uh, you know, coercion, apparatus, one is uh, endorsed by the state and the other is not. You know, for, when, the, when the, the Revolutionary War was going on, George Washington and all them dudes was terrorists. As far yes, as the queen right, was concerned, right. so it's like it's a, you know it's a difference fine line between what's legal and what's fair and decent and you know just on the universal sense. I'm, yeah, but you don't want to get blown up by a bomb. I don't think I'm going to get blown. I, listen, I'm black in America. I live under constant pressure. I don't believe in that boogeyman shit. Them like, they ain't doing shit. I, you know I don't believe in that shit. Well, if somebody want to do some shit to you, it ain't they doing it. That motherfucker ain't talking about it, sending you tapes. I'm gonna fuck you up when I see you. They're gonna get you. And you gonna feel it. Nigga ain't sending no damn video messages. Yeah, bitch, it's me. No. I don't believe that shit. I, I, it's certain shit that motherfuckers be passing off. I don't believe that was Bin Laden today. I don't believe it was never him. I think it's some dude just standing. I don't even, I can't even uh-huh. believe, I don't, I'm sorry. I'm from the projects. I know danger. I don't feel no danger from that shit. I just motherfuckers, I, but, but you, you don't think Bin Laden knocked down the World Trade Center? Absolutely not. Come on. I don't. I don't. You know and what? I, you know, That's I don't. you lose me. Right? And listen. And I'm know, so on your side. But you know what? Any barbershop, I am so not alone. I am so not alone. That doesn't mean you're right. That don't mean that, that I'm... That doesn't mean you're right. It don't mean that it's not valid, neither. Science, high, uh, highly educated people in all areas of science have spoken on the, the, the fishiness around that whole 911 theory. It's like the magic bullet and, and all that and what, shit. And what happened? I don't believe these motherfuckers been to the moon, neither, but that's just me. <laughs> No, no, I mean, I don't agree with my brother. I think that Bin Laden, not just gangster, but gangster, but I think he had something to do with the buildings because he said so, and I believe it. But the thing is, is that at the same time, if you have multiple sources of force, coercion, and terror coming at you, which many black Americans do, prison industrial complex, racist criminal justice system, Dina Six is one grand example of that, disgraceful school systems, to what degree do you begin to think, well, my paranoia is actually justified because if they can sustain this level of psychic and physical terror against me and they're obsessed with a terror that's against them, then maybe they might not be believable and credible. You see what I mean? Yeah. No individual can save a nation. If a nation is sleepwalking and doesn't wake up, then it will never be safe. But an individual can be a catalyst, can be a cause to wake them up. It also can be... Muslim terrorism in the world. Okay, well, and, uh, but there's, there's, and, and, there's, 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 because there are two sects, and something that happened 1,400 years ago, they're still beefing. That's their business, though. Now, even if that I agree, but I'm just saying even that religion is the root of the problem. But that's no, they, the that is, first of all, first of all, that was a problem that they had before we, we came. First of all, I'm going to kill all this we shit. We didn't do shit. I, I didn't endorse this war. We collectively just accepted it. We did. That's like you driving a car, and somebody get in. Real fast on my drive, and you'd be like, they'd be like, we got a situation. You're like, we what? I'm like, I'm waiting on you to come outside. What we? We ain't just saying. You in there and just yeah. something. Anyway. It's like when people say it's all good. Yeah, it's not all That's good. That's never what it is, right? But there's a way. It's, it's, there's a way. When there's, there's a way. gun. It's all good. No, it's not. He's got a gun. Yeah. The, the problem, why, first of all, they're not dealing with the root of the problem. Even if, okay, let's say this, this terrorist cells and all this al-Qaeda is the boogeyman. Okay, let's, that's it, right? Why are they upset? 
Let's deal with the fact that there are valid reasons, even to a lot of terrorist arguments, quote unquote terrorist arguments, about why they frustrated with colonial presence, imperial presence. The way that, that, that this government has pursued its foreign interests has been meddlesome, murderously meddlesome. I agree. People's creeds. It's, it's up. People believe what the hell they want to believe. That's up okay. to them. I well, believe as I believe, and it's my right as an American. The same way that Paul Robeson, when he got brought up in front of the Senate and they said, are you a communist? He said, yes, I am, because it's my right as an American to be. Right. I can be whatever I want. I could be a girl if I wanted to. It's not this motherfucker, but I don't choose that. <laughs> but you're friends. I'm just choosing to be me, and it's okay. I, you don't have to believe no, like I, 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 I thought we were going to keep it real. We are this keeping it real. Real. And this is all, this is not about the Muslim or the Christian. And see, that's the whole thing. The division of Democrat, Republican, Muslim, Christian, uh, Autobot, Decepticon. I'm just talking Rip about the blood. blood. Black, white. It's all bullshit because the bottom line is that Islam is not the threat. It's not a problem. No, it's not. You cannot say that a faith who has certain individuals in it who are crazy, and they're crazy people everywhere. Churches, yeah, mosques, and they're, and they're airports, getting it from someplace. They're getting and it from the themselves. No, 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 no. No, no one is denying that religion is a force and factor in history, but so are empires. So are economic systems. So are yeah. ideologies like white supremacy right. and male supremacy and homophobia and so forth. So that the obsession with the religious but downplays the relation of the religion with empire. Every empire we know used the sword. Some of them were Islamic. Some of them were Christian. Some of them were secular. Secular right. liberalism was tied to an empire that killed people. But, but too. when they do it and they think they got God on their side, they do it with a special fervor. Okay. Well, yes. I want to show you this. Too, but, but they also, no, but they also no. murder with any attitude is unjust, whether it's done coolly or whether it's done with passion. But, and it also it takes you away. Light is not, it it takes you away. They invoke God to a, resist the ugly force and coercion and so right. forth. That's the prophetic element within okay. Islam, Judaism, I have, Christianity. And I'm so keeping forth. Ralph Nader waiting. All right. Thank you, Ralph. I appreciate you joining us as always. Keep doing what you're doing. Ralph Nader, everybody. Thank you, there is a sort of paradox there that, you know, if you say to the audience, Ralph Nader's going to run again, they go, boo! But when he speaks on the principles, they all applaud what he actually has to stand for. It's a shame that we actually can't vote for the people that we believe in because we think they can't win. Well, How did that happen? We could, it, people could win if they changed the, the, the voting. Uh, the electoral college should just be done away with. I don't. I don't. Understand. That wouldn't. That wouldn't elect Ralph Nader. They could have gotten rid of the electoral well, college. Well, uh, still wouldn't be. It would just be a more. It'd be better. It'd be a better system. Yeah. I mean, the, the, that, that's what I'm really shocked at in this entire presidential race is that no one has brought up the inequities of the, the voting system as it exists now. And I mean, the the the, the whole voting process discourages you from taking part of the process, you know, is held in all these way out places. You got to do it from so-and-so to so-and-so. People are coming from work. It's very inconvenient. Yeah. And it's it discourages you from... Um, yeah, we should have a national voting day. We should day have a voting like, weekend. Like, we should have a vote. It should be from Thursday to Monday. You should be able to vote every place that you play live. Vote, Nick. Yeah, why not? I mean, if, vote, if, if, I, I mean, I was a part Make of Make it a festival. Sure. But, I mean, but, you know, mm -hmm. part of the problem, though, and this is why I'm, I'm so glad to sit next to this brother who's an artist, one of the great artists of his generation. I just the music been on the screen. And I say that because, you know, truth lies prostate, which means we have to reveal it in its nakedness, even if that nakedness seems to be connected to a lack of power. Right, well, we let's, have to keep let's speaking reveal truth. it. We have to bear witness to the truth. But this is the deep existential truth. It's just right. about politics. Let's so, reveal it. Artists have the courage to tell the truth, but. They remain in the, on the corners off the top. You see. Well, let's the best artists. Now we got some artists who just lying. You know what I mean? A lot. Yeah, absolutely. Let, let's reveal. Uh, Hillary Clinton is just another form of dynasty to me. Is they passing the presidency around like a party joint? It goes from the Bushes, the Clintons, to the Bushes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. No, that's some Papa Doc, Junior Doc shit. No, somebody gotta come in. They still drink. I, I was.